Here's how to link up your vBridger with VTube Studio. Before getting started, you need to pick a tracking option, mobile or webcam. Webcam works, but isn't as accurate because it's not done using LiDAR like iOS is. You can use NVIDIA tracking or media pipe tracking with webcam. Mobile is better since it can track facial depth and get accurate blend shape information using the LiDAR camera. And you can choose from the following mobile apps to use with vBridger. The way to set up webcam and mobile is slightly different, so I will cover both. But first, let's connect to VTube Studio. In in VTube Studio, double click and go to your settings, and on the first tab, scroll down to the plugin section. Leave the port as 8001 and toggle on the API. And then in vBridger, you should see the same port listed down here in the bottom right, and you can go ahead and hit the connect button. In VTube Studio, you should get a pop up requesting API access, and you can hit accept. And vBridger should now be able to communicate with VTube Studio. If you're using a webcam, go to vBridger and select the cog icon, then select your settings. And under the camera settings, select your camera here. Be sure to check the NVIDIA beta box if you you have an NVIDIA card and want to use it for tracking. Then you can close out your settings and select start down at the bottom to start the webcam tracking. And everything should be running now. Otherwise, if you're using mobile, you need to click the drop down and select your tracking app. And of course, make sure that that tracking app that you're using is one of the ones listed to be able to be accepted by vBridger. Depending on the app, you'll need to make sure that the third party client option is toggled on. Then on your phone, go to your Wi-Fi settings, select your Wi-Fi and copy your IPv4 into the IP box in vBridger. This is not your PC's IP, by the way, it's your phones. After typing it in, hit connect to phone and the data should flow from your tracking app to vBridger to VTube Studio. If you have any further issues at this point, I would recommend joining the vBridger Discord and searching for your issue or starting a help post.